Hey, it's uh, Friday. It's raining. Woo. Um, I, it's, yeah, man, it's getting cold. Ugh, yucky. And all those things are happening. Um, I hope you've had a great week, though. I hope that um, with everything that's happening and so on, uh, that you're still having a great week and you're still finding joy and happiness in the Lord despite everything that's going on. And um, this coming Sunday, we're going to share, um, as I shared Tuesday, we're going to start a new series called While You Wait. And um, I, I'm really looking forward to that. I, I'm looking forward to focusing on not the things that are happening in the world, but how we respond to that and what do we do as Christians. And um, we, we have a lot of impatient people in our world. Uh, and it's easy to become impatient, especially with becoming impatient with impatient people, you know, and um, someone's honking your, their horn behind you because you're driving the speed limit and you're not moving fast enough. And, and it's just all these things that happen. And, um, and sometimes it causes us to respond like the world does. Their impatience causes us to be impatient. And then we respond like they do. And we don't like their ugliness, but we end up being as ugly as they are. Um, sometimes, not all the time. Uh, the struggle is, is do we become impatient with God? Oh, that's a big one. You know, do we act towards God like the world's acting towards us or like we're acting towards the world? And, and, um, and the sad part is, is I'm afraid sometimes we can't. We can become impatient with God. And we, everything that's going on, we want God to respond sometimes like the world expects us to respond or we like, like we expect the world to respond. Our uh, passage this morning, this week, is going to be taken from Psalm 27. And, uh, and David states uh, there that there might be some things um, that we can become impatient with, and we have to remind ourselves of some things. And, and our impatience, if we act like the world, it's going to impact everything we do, and it's going to impact every decision we make, and it's going to impact our words and our thoughts and everything else. I want you to listen to what David writes in verse 4. He says, One thing I have asked from the Lord that I shall seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to meditate in his temple. And Jesus put it this way, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow. Impatience causes anxiety, or maybe anxiety causes impatience. Anxiety can steal our joy. Um, it can cause us to lose hope in the things that we are longing for and cause us to lose our hope in God. It causes us to really get, I don't know, out of whack spiritually to where we're, we're finding our, we're, we're, we're leaning towards the things of this world, we're focused on that. And sometimes we are seeking those things. And that can cause a lot of just struggles. And in those impatient times and those anxieties, then it causes us to start acting like the world again. And, and so it can lead us away from God and it can lead us having our hope in the eternal instead of the present. And anyway, um, so let me ask you this question this morning. Has your impatience caused you to stop, to stop seeking eternity, to stop seeking to be in the presence of God, to stop seeking to med be meditating on his word and to um, meditate in his temple and to see the beauty of God and to be in the presence of his beauty? And what I mean by that is this. If we're continuing to focus on the things of this world that leads us to be impatient with God, maybe what we need to do is stop focusing on the things of the world and stop and start focusing on the promises of God and keep that in focus. And then what we'll find out Sunday is then that will allow us to be strong and courageous while we wait on him to fulfill his promises to us. Because if that's not what we're doing, then we're not really going to be focused on those promises. And our focus will be on the world, the things of the world, how the world responds, the impatience of the world, the anxiety of the world, and then we have no hope, and we have no joy, and it steals it. 
And I don't know about you, but I don't like anybody stealing something that belongs to me, especially those things that God has promised me. So don't let the world steal that stuff. Don't let Satan steal that stuff. Don't let yourself toss that aside and become so focused on the world that you lose your hope and you lose your joy and it impacts your relationship with God. God has promised us that those who are in Christ will receive eternal life in heaven with him. So be strong and be creative and wait on the Lord. I hope you have a great week, a great weekend, and I can't wait to see you Sunday.